What's up all you space cadets, this is KJ48 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Empyreon Galactic Survival. This is Alpha 1, that's right, the official release of Alpha 1. Uh, this does not come out until Friday for everybody, but um, me and a couple other people got a little bit of early access uh, for YouTube videos and streaming purposes. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty freaking cool, I played on stream the other day. And I'm having a good time with it. We're going to go over some of the major bullet points before we get started. Um, they've added structural integrity to the game. They've added a new shape management system where you now get only one kind of block. And then you pick the shape before you put it down. It's 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 a little bit less realistic, but it's a lot more streamlined and, and, and easier flowing than having like 20 of different kind of blocks in your inventory. We'll get into it as we play. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, they've added more material as in wood and concrete. Um, they've added a player drone facili f facilitating building. Um, I'll show you that. Uh, they've added a clone chamber. Um, you don't you don't now respawn in your medical bay. You respawn in your clone chamber. Um, they've added a tier two drill that um, I, I think I think it drills faster. But what I do know it does is it automatically picks up the materials. I mean, come on, guys, that's friggin' awesome. Um, they've also added bandages, which are a lot easier to craft for early game healing. Uh, if you want to see the entire list of patch notes, go to imperiononline.com and check it out. So we're going to get started here. We are playing Season 7 Survival. This is a seed, if you're wondering. And we are on Akua. Oh, man, I'm, I'm excited. Like, this has been a long, a long time in the making. Like, I've, uh, you know, I did about 28 episodes last season. I was just getting, like, burned out. I was like, okay, we need an update. And, uh, you know, it didn't take too long for the update. They did they did push it back a little bit, um, but not too badly. Um, wasn't really that big of a deal. A lot of people got upset, but you know what? Whatever. The internet's going to get upset about stuff. Oh, whoa, we're on a mountain. Okay. Jetpack on, and let's come on down the mountain. Yes, there is falling damage. You just use the jetpack to kind of lighten your fall. <clears throat> take a little bit of damage, not a big deal. As you can see right off the bat, they have a new biome. Um, they have a, uh, I guess it's like a, a forest biome or whatnot. Uh, there's going to be new animals in the game as well. Although, I haven't seen too many of them yet. But uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in our little uh, skate pod here and take everything we can. For those of you who are new to the game, um, I will be playing this more as a tutorial so you guys can learn how to play. And uh, for you people who are, you know, used to this game, I will try not to bore you too much. So, first thing we're going to do is take our pistol and our drill and put those up there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Let's put some food down here. We should have some healing items. And that's pretty good. We'll also take our survival constructor and put it right there. Um, I did scout out this... Uh, I didn't really scout out this uh, this um, seed. This is the seed I played on stream. And I was really happy with it. So, I was like, yeah, let's just play this seed here. We got some iron and promethium right away. Um, pretty, pretty sweet. So we're going to come over here to the iron deposit. And we are just going to start mining. Okay, we do have some trees here. And you do start off with a chainsaw. Where's the chainsaw? Alright, you got a chainsaw right there. It runs off biofuel, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and chainsaw down a tree. So let's do that. Alright, how about this tree right here? Let's get it. Actually, maybe we should do a tree over here. Maybe where we're going to be building. Nah, there's plenty of room. It's not going to be a big deal. Alright, chainsaw the tree. And after a certain amount of time, it will fall, and you got to look for the logs. There they are. Got some logs right here. And it's actually quite a large amount of logs, believe it or not. You'll see. So we're going to take our... This is our basic constructor thingy. They basically start you off with this in the game, so you have something to build with. I'm going to put it right by this tree right here. We're going to go right here. We're going to put all our materials in it. Actually, you know what? We're going to put everything in it we don't need. Uh, let's put down the flattener, even though I don't think we're going to need it. Um, I'm not going to need the chainsaw again. I'm not going to be doing a lot with wood. I think I'll make the floor of my base with wood, but that'll be it. And uh, as, a, as a matter of fact, right away, let's just go ahead and start uh, chopping up some of that wood. Right here, wood planks. And turn this on, and there we go. And then we'll put the rest of our stuff in here. Oh, by the way, again, if you're new to this game and you start off on uh, Akua, press U and take off your helmet so you don't waste your oxygen. There is a bre breathable atmosphere here. <clears throat> So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take our O2 generator and we're going to want to place that in water. Start getting some oxygen even though we're not really going to need it. Um, the other thing we're going to do is while when that wood's done, we're going to set up... No, we're gonna, we should set up a base starter right now, actually. 
Let's do the base starter. And let's do some more wood. And when the wood's done, we are going to start making... It's been a while, guys. Hang with me. Um, we're going to start making these things right here. Metal pieces. That's going to make it so we can make more drill charges. As well as bullets. Bullets for the pistol and Prometheum. Well, Prometheum, we can go in there. We're not going to need it right now. When those bullet, when those things are done, <clears throat> excuse me. When those things are done, we're going to go ahead and make some more drill charges. When the drill charges are done, we're going to set it up to make more fuel packs. Okay. I've su successfully completed a task. There's there's a new there's a new thing in the game, a PDA. I forget what PDA stands for. I'm sure when you guys can tell me. But um, a PDA thing. Uh, I, I guess these are quests. I don't think you get anything for them, but they're just teaching how to play the game. So for you new players, you could definitely check that out. Actually, wait a minute. Can you um actually post these up on the... Can we... See, you should be able to take these and like click a button and have them show up on the side of your map. Or on the side of your UI. That way, you know, you don't have to open it up to see what you're doing. So, they want us to place no two generators, so let's just do that now. I love this, uh, this biome. This game looks a lot better now. It looks, it reminds me a lot more of planet, uh, uh, Space Engineers. You know the way, uh, Space Engineers planets look? It's getting more towards that. And in a good way. I don't want them to copy off Space Engineers, but you know what? Space Engineers planets were definitely better. So I'm kind of happy that their, uh, their planets look better as well. Alright, so this thing needs some energy, so we're just gonna have to wait for that. We did plant it. Let's see what the next... I'm kind of curious what the, what the quests are. Yeah, we gotta power it. Okay, that's fine. They want us to pick up plants as well. Picking up plants is not always a good idea early game, because a lot of them have a perish time. So I don't know why they're telling you to pick up plants, but I wouldn't advise it right now. I wouldn't advise picking up plants until you have a, um... Until you have a refrigerator. Alright, so I think we're gonna build our base right here. So let's see if the base starter thing's done. There we go, we got a base starter right there. The base starter needs a core, they start you off with a core, so there you go. And uh, we're going to place this bad boy right here. Alright, so that's our core. Um, basically, we just we, we basically took the core and we told it to start a base. There's, there's four different kinds of things you can build in this game. There's a base, a capital vessel, a small vessel, and a hover vessel. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to take you into the factory right here. I'm probably going to get rid of all these... Uh, Basically, these are blueprints that I've... Some I've made. Like, I made... I made this one, and this one, and this one. I made a bunch of these. And then other people made where I got them from the, uh... From the, uh... The, the, the workshop. And then these are, were made by the developer. Or these were taken by the developer and put them on here. Uh, the first thing we're gonna make definitely is going to be the hover vessel. But I need to be level 3 for that. So we're gonna wait for that. The hover vessel is gonna allow me to get around on the planet and, uh... Find other... You know, other resources. Um, really... I kind of need magnesium because I want to make more bullets, so. Alright, so we got some wood there, so when that wood's done, we're going to turn that into wood blocks. I'm going to make the floor of my base wood, and then, like, the uh, the rest of it's going to be metal, I guess. I don't know. Um, or maybe I can make the floor metal. I don't know. We'll figure something out. No, I, I kind of like the floor to be wood. We'll make the floor wood with a metal shell, basically. Alright, so we gotta wait for that stuff to craft, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here and mine some iron with our trusty drill. The drills come in uh, two different kinds of modes, where you can use um, drill strong, which would be the left mouse button, or drill weak, which would be the right mouse button. I don't know why you'd want to drill weak. Some people say you get more materials if you drill weak or something, I don't really know if that's the case. Basically what I do is I just hold both buttons down, and it drills fast. Now, now, just be prepared. You might lose resources doing this. I've been told that. I, I don't know if that's the case, though. I should actually ask the developers. Yeah, I didn't even, um... You know what? Anytime I drill... Oh, well, there's a couple options we need to look at. Music volume's down, thank God. This music is definitely copyright issues. Um, the developers uh, got the music from, a, from somebody else, and, and if you put this on YouTube, you're gonna get hit with copyright if you play the music. Uh, the de but the music, uh, the music creators uh do give you an option to buy the music rent, like license the music for a hundred dollars and i was like eh. <laughs> not that i'm cheap but eh, I don't, really, you know. don't really want to do that kind of hope you're watching these videos because of me not because you want to hear music but i mean if, if you're only watching these videos because you want to hear music then i'm doing something wrong so 
Alright, now I'm just using the left mouse button. You can see it, it, it harvests slower. But I don't know if you get more more materials out of it. I don't know. Um, it looks like you might. I don't know. Maybe. I just want to go faster. I, I'm, I will, uh, when I'm done here today, I'll send a message to the devs and find out if anyone can give me a definitive answer about if you get more more minerals by, you know, using the weak drill or if I'm losing minerals by using both or, you know, how that exactly works. I would think if you were going to lose stuff by using both or using the strong drill, um, I kind of feel like the, the item should tell you that. Okay, by the way, you press T to pick them up. You cannot hold T to pick them up. You have to actually press it each time. We're going to work really hard towards that tier 2 drill. Let's take a look at when we're actually going to get the tier 2 drill. Uh, you got your tech tree right here. This is when, as you level up, you have to buy certain things. We're going to go to tools. And the tier 2 drill is level 7. So there you go. Hmm, okay. Well, we want to get level 3 first. Because uh, then we can get the... Uh, then we can get our hover vessel. Some people like me to uh, make my own my own things and not like, you know, not like use the, uh, the people don't want, some people don't want me to use the blueprints of other players, you know, and uh, I think this, this season I'm going to try and make my own, my own stuff a little bit more than usual. Uh, like make my own bases, make my own small vessels. Uh, I can make bases and small vessels. It's the, uh, it's the, um, the capital vessels. That's the problem. Uh, those are really big and really time consuming. It's not that I can't make them. It's just, they take a lot of time. All right. So right here, um, another thing I wanted to show you is there is one small vessel here I did make and it's called the, actually I made a lot of these. I made, yeah, that one, that one I will spawn myself. I made that. So I'm allowed to spawn it. Uh, the SS Winchester is also another one I'm allowed to spawn because I made it. If I made the vessel, I, I reserve the right to spawn it in. Because, I, I, like, once you make a vessel... You know what? I'm running out of clips. We shouldn't... You could actually get stuck in these holes if you run out of, uh... If you run out of clips. So let's, uh, take a little bit of time here and come back to the... To the base and see what's been crafted. Anyway, um, I don't like the idea of having to, like, remake stuff I've already made in the past. Uh, so... I'm totally on board with, you know, the idea of... You know, I made that. So I reserve the right to spawn it in, you know. You don't really spawn it in, guys. For those of you who don't know how the factory works... Let's say I wanted to bring in the small vessel. I should probably name it as well. You go to the factory and you'd have to put in the amount of resources it was used to make the, the small vessel. That's all. It's that simple. Um, you're not getting anything for free. And it also takes time to produce it. So you're not getting anything for free. The only thing that makes it easier is I don't have to build a base and a construction thing and a power thing and all that stuff. Which does make it, you know, a little bit easier. Um, I think they should make you... I think you should have to make a factory before using that stuff maybe. I don't know. Like an actual factory. Because it says you get a factory, but there's no actual factory there. Um, the beginning of this game is very, 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 very slow. Um, I love the game. I love this game. I mean, I've done a lot of videos on it. I really like it. It's it's one of those games that I feel is made for me. But I'm not going to lie. The beginning of the game is too slow. Um, I think the developers watch my videos. If they don't, please developers, please, please, please. Um, please understand that the beginning of this game is too slow and we need it, we need it either made more fun or sped up. I don't know which one, but, um, I, I would like to see some kind of automated way to drill stuff. Maybe not early in the game, that, that's more late game. But, um, what, the problem is the constructors take so long to make stuff, you know. Um, you talk about ABC, I have a little saying in, in, in Seven Days to Die called ABC, always be crafting. And it, it goes even more so in this game. Make sure you're always crafting something, because if you wait and craft everything at once... You're going to end up minimizing your game and go watching YouTube videos while you, uh, while your stuff's crafting. So, you know what? While your stuff's crafting, go to, uh, KJ48 at YouTube and, uh, check out my, my Imperion videos <laughs> while you're crafting. But, uh, like, ideally it would be better not to have to do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's take all these. It's a pretty good amount of iron. Pretty good amount of iron. Let's, uh, let's get on out of here. Another problem with this game is the darkness. Um, when it gets dark, it's very, very dark. We need a light system, kind of like uh, uh, space engineers, like a, a light that's on our suit that will light up the whole, like our front area. So, as a person making YouTube videos, you know, 
it's really hard for me to make YouTube videos when people can't see anything. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let's go ahead and process some of this. And let's start making these devices. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, no. Well, we can make some glass. There we go. Actually, you know what? No. Don't make this stuff just yet. What we're going to do is... We're going to take the silicon, the copper, the in iron... And we're going to go to our... Factory. And we got the... Uh, no, I don't want that one. We got to go to the library. We got to go down to the basic one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the factory. And we're going to feed it in the items that it needs. Um, it needs 270 iron. By the way, you can feed this um, materials. Like, if you take like... Oh, I don't know. Like, uh, metal something. Uh, something you can craft. And you put it in here... It will give you the resource credit of whatever you use to make that item. And, not only that, but if you put in completely made items, it'll lower the production time. Like, hypothetically speaking, if I made a bunch of metal components, okay, that takes iron and cobalt, it will put, it'll like, it'll like count for iron and cobalt and it'll also lower the production time. I'm not going to do that, but you could do that. I will do it in the future. Uh, this isn't working. 207, 196, ugh, alright, let's just do this, uh, 180, right, 180 copper, that is copper, right, yeah, copper, uh, silicon is 130, 130, and then we just need some cobalt, put these back, cobalt is blue, F2 brings this up, by the way. Uh, 100. There we go. And we are going to start production. 26 minutes, we'll have this. Obviously, it won't be this video, but we'll have it for next video. Alright, so those two go in there. And now, we can start making all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's just make a bunch of these. Bunch of these. Some of these. Some of these. Some of these. And then a bunch of these. And then more... Of that. Okay. See, that's why that's why stuff takes so long. You see how long this is going to take now? Like, it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. Alright, so we are going to start building our base now. Oops, I keep hitting tab because I'm used to tab being the uh, inventory key. I did not grab the wood. Let's go ahead and grab the wood. And let's start making our floor. How big do we want to make this building? I don't know. I do not know. How, actually, we really should get... We really should figure it out. Do we want to make this a perfect square? Squares are kind of boring, aren't they? How about a rectangle? How about a... How about a... How about a 9 by 11? I don't know. Sounds good, right? So, 9 would be 8. So, so it would be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to be pretty big, but whatever. Or maybe we should make it smaller and have, like, rooms. You know what? I kind of like that. Maybe we could do the old Minecraft thing, 9 by 9. Yeah. Well, that would be eight, right? So, yeah, nine by nine, and then have rooms. Yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if you hold down the uh, mouse button, you can, like, kind of do this. And it'll make whole rows at a time. Or, if you hold down the control button. This one doesn't usually work well for me. I, you know what? I won't do it here. Let's do it on the next part. Because if you hold down the control button. It kind of does, like, the whole block. Like this. Oh. See? It doesn't quite work for me a lot of the times. So, let's come this way. Oh, no. See, now, I'm, now it's acting weird. Maybe you gotta hit control again. I'm not sure. Alright, let's come over here. Let's see if it's working now. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, so I wonder if control is just a click. No, I'm not sure why it was doing that. Oh well. There we go. And we're out of wood. So that's gonna be our first room. It's gonna be a 9x9. Pretty, pretty big room. Actually, it's probably bigger than it needs to be. 
probably make it a 7x7. Seven seven. Do we have the uh, tool we need to remove blocks, the remove tool? I don't know if they start you with that. I don't think they do. Yeah, we need the remove tool. Let's see what we got here. So the next, the other tool we're going to need is this one right here. Oh, we don't get it. Okay, so hold on. Let me see if I can buy it. Or use my, my skills for it. It's under tools. Yeah, the repair remove tool. Unlock. Unlock the flattener tool. Oh, we only have three points left. See, there's the texture and symbol tool. You can use this to change textures. You can also use it to put down letters. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is the change and remove tool. That's, um, I believe that's the one that rotates blocks. See, you can like, you can have like blocks on your, on your base now. And if you use that one tool, you can rotate them while it's still attached to your base. Completely unrealistic, but man, it's freaking cool. I love it. I love it. Instead of like having like 50 different blocks, you now have one, one kind of block. Oops. Oh, concrete blocks. Sorry, I hit my mic there. It's kind of annoying, I know. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we got... Ooh, steel blocks, concrete blocks, hardened steel blocks. Wow. Okay. So the armor on that's 15. Wait. The armor on both of these are 15? Standard, colorable, building blocks. Standard, colorable... What's the difference? Oh, the hit points. Okay. The hit points are doubled on the hardened steel blocks. Okay. That's cool. QQ. Let's cut down some more trees. Oh, I didn't even use up on the wood planks. Well, let's set this up then. Now, don't forget, this wood is only going to be the floor. So we don't need... I mean, how many wood does it take? Wood, one wood plank per one block. And you get one. Okay, so 100 and 100 is good. There's one other thing I wanted to show you uh, before the end of the video is the, the new drone system. I believe it's F5. And you kind of have this little drone thing. Now, this thing I'm flying right now does not actually exist. This is just a way for you to build easier. Like, you can take stuff out of here and build. I wonder if you can mine with it. No, you can't mine with it. See, I'm using that. Okay. So, you can't mine with it. But if I had blocks, I could place them down. So, you could place them down on higher higher areas and stuff. Yeah, 9x9 nine nine is a little much. Maybe I'll make it... Maybe I'll make it a 7x9. Seven 7x9 nine. Seven nine be, might be better. Anyway, I will figure that out. I'll figure that out off camera. So yeah, that drone doesn't exist. And by the way, if you go too far with the drone, you lose connection. And you didn't actually lose the drone. Like I said, it doesn't actually exist. It's just a way for you to, uh, to build with. And before we go, let me kill some, let me kill some wildlife. This is a great way to level up just shooting the wildlife, but you got to be careful. The pistol is pretty strong. But it's not strong enough where you can just shoot stuff. Um, oh, and also, if you're hungry, these uh, cattail hot dog thingies are uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You pick those up. Oh, by the way, and they don't go away. They'll grow back. So, corn dog. And eat those. Now, the, th the fact that these don't go away and they grow back means, yeah, just keep, just pick them all in the area. You might as well. All right, I want to shoot something, damn it. Thought I heard something. Over oh, here we go. Got to reload. There's no reload animation yet. And down he goes. If those guys hit you, they'll do a good amount of damage, but worse yet, they might poison you, so... Or, like, give you open wounds or something, so you got to be careful with that. Got to be careful with that. Alright, so what you can do is you can take this meat back to your little crafter thingy. And you put the meat in there. Like so. And then you come over here to the food tab. And you can either make a uh, grilled steak or salami. Now, grilled steak gives you twice the amount of stamina back, but the salami lasts a lot longer. So I would just make salami, personally. And that's it. So I'm going to wait for all this stuff to craft before I do episode 2. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what we can get up to in episode 2. By the time episode 2 comes, this thing should be done as well. So it should be pretty friggin' exciting. And we're going to call this one here. I hope you're excited for this Let's Play. The alpha, dro the alpha drop on this game is fantastic. I can't wait to see what they do moving forward. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for episode 1. I'll see you next time for episode 2. Till then, take it easy.